Not as famous as pad thai noodles, but trust me on this one, guys. Once you've tried them, you'll be coming back again and again. This is stir fried korat noodles. So I like to think of these noodles as like the spicier cousin, if you like, to pad thai noodles. They're from a region called Kolat in the northeast of Thailand, and it's the sauce that makes them really special. Um, so we'll get to the sauce, but first of all, let's talk about the noodles. And I'm using these very thin rice stick noodles. Now you could use regular pad thai noodles for these as well. I like these little thin ones. They have a really great texture, but I do want to make sure I don't overcook them. So I want some hot water. It's not boiling just steaming a little bit. I'm gonna put those noodles in and I want these guys to soak until they're just tender. A little al dente, but just tender. It's really important not to overcook these ones because of their smaller size. They'll get really gluggy in the pan when we stir fry them. With your like larger pad thai noodles, you don't have to be as careful. Okay, these look good. I'm gonna pull them out and drain them. And now for the sauce. So this is a really interesting one. We're going to make like a sugar caramel as the base of the sauce, which become really dark and beautiful in color. And then that's punctuated with big flavors like tamarind and fish sauce. Anyway, well, you'll see, it's all magical. Uh, let's start with the sugar. So I'm gonna use palm sugar here. Now that comes in this kind of like firm block and you need to shave it so that it'll dissolve quicker. So to get that caramel started, I'm gonna add a little bit of oil into a hot saucepan. Now in goes that palm sugar. And I just want some regular white sugar as well. Now we need to wait here until that sugar dissolves and then it starts to turn a nice deep mahogany color. You really need to watch it though because you don't want that sugar to burn. Okay, so this is looking a beautiful color. I'm gonna add in my shallots and some garlic. And now this is an interesting one. So this is yellow soybean paste, or sometimes it's just called soybean paste. And in Thai, it's called dao deal. You can find it at an Asian grocer. If you can't get it, you can use miso, but just sort of smash the soybeans a little bit. You can see the little beans in there and then that goes in as well. Okay, so I've got my sweet and my sour and a little bit of salty from the soybean paste. I want a little bit more salty with some fish sauce and some sour with some tamarind. Didn't I tell you this sauce packs a punch? Ah, oh, and look at that beautiful color already. Now you just wanna let this simmer and let those flavors develop a little. Okay, so just let me try a little bit here and just be careful because that sugar is really hot. So make sure it's nice and cool. Mm. I love that you get that beautiful little bit of fragrance from the shallot and the garlic. And then you've got the tamarind. It tastes slightly bitter. So I'm just gonna cook that a little bit longer and add a little bit of water. And now the chili powder. So this one should be it should have a little bit of kick, so be generous with that chili powder. Okay, let's try again. Ah, uh, yes, that's great. I've got the beautiful spiciness, I've got the sour tamarind, it's making my mouth get all juicy, which is exactly what you want. And just a little bit bitter from that burnt sugar. Perfect. Okay, just pour that out for later. Now I'm gonna get everything else ready because once we get into the wok, everything is gonna happen really quickly. So I want some spring onion. And you want some bean shoots as well. And I'm using pork mince. You could keep this vegetarian, you could use chicken, um, you could use tofu, anything goes here. And then some eggs as well. So now we can bring everything together in the wok. So I'm gonna get that nice and hot, add some oil, and then in goes my pork mince. Mm. 
and that pork is just cooked now I'm going to add in my noodles and then our beautiful sauce oh, look at that color now this is a dry noodle dish so I want to let those noodles absorb that sauce and I want that liquid to evaporate. Okay, this is looking good. Look at those noodles, they're so glossy and shiny. Okay, move everything off to the side. I'm gonna add in a little bit more oil and then in go my eggs. Okay, just tilt your wok a little bit. Give those eggs some space in the hot pan to become a little omelet. Okay, just when that egg is almost looking set, I'm gonna toss it through. And now I want those bean shoots in and my spring onion. Very nice. All right. Now I just want to get these out onto a plate. And then just for a little bit of extra special at the end, we want some spring onion and a wedge of lime. So there you go, guys. The noodles you quite possibly have never heard of, but I promise you, you will love them when you try them. Mm. The caramel base on that sauce just gives it so much complexity and flavor. Mm. Not to mention the color. Yum. <sighs> Noodles. Can never get enough. If you've got any comments or questions, pop them below. And if you enjoyed the video, why not hit that subscribe button plus the little bell one, and that way you'll get notified every time I release a new video. Thanks, guys.